Hi everyone, let me introduce you to this product called Art Discovery. Art Discovery is a new age literature discovery and reading tool that is loved by more than 3 million researchers worldwide. The Android app is rated 4.5 plus while the iOS is rated 4.8 plus consistently for last four years across the globe. Let's see how this product uh, works. Uh, the product is very, very easy to set up and requires just a one time setup. Our discovery enables literature discovery via three main mechanisms. One being AI driven recommendations. Second being Gen AI based question answers format and third being traditional searches. Researchers can set up their accounts within a few minutes and then find new paper recommendations every day to save time from repeatedly searching the same research topics. Our discovery uses a proprietary algorithm of concept extraction that brings the best matching papers for the researchers and then re-ranks them on multiple parameters like recency and the quality of contents to bring the best top 100 papers matching for the researcher. In addition, the product constantly updates the recommendations based on important user actions. For example, the like and the dislike of the papers to keep recommendations relevant at all times. Now, the second way to discover research content on discovery is via Gen AI, uh, which is a very easy way to discover new research. Researchers can simply pose any question to our discovery and the product generates citation based answers to save the researchers hours of reading. It bridges one of the biggest gaps in Gen AI field of providing factually incorrect answers. Ask Discovery generates answers to your questions based on published research articles which you can refer within the paper uh, to validate, cite the findings, save and refer later. Now certainly there is conventional search which, which is available to help find relevant content on any topic, phrase, title, journal name that the user needs. These are the search results. The user has the option to sort based on re uh, relevancy of the content, the date of publication, or even the citations count. There are multiple filters available. Uh, for example, the access type to the paper or the publication type of the paper or the publication dates, and the user can filter to narrow down the search results that he is looking for. The user can go through the results and whenever a relevant uh, paper is found, uh, it's an easy and a straightforward process from there to consume and read the research paper. They have the option to save the paper to our discovery library within the R discovery or even to the reference manager tools like Zotero or Mendeley. The user can, if the paper is relevant, the user can read the full text paper and explore more papers related to the same paper. Even if the paper is not accessible and is behind a paywall, our discovery users can save their institute with us and if their library is subscribed to the particular journal, then they can access those paywall papers for free on our discovery. All they need to do is authenticate their login credentials. Now, another thing our discovery enables researchers is the, is the creation of highlights and summaries for research papers, which enables researchers to quickly read the paper under a minute and evaluate whether it makes sense to even read the paper completely. The summary is available at an overall paper level as well as at a section wise level. Our discovery also enables one more feature to help researchers read the papers quickly. And these are the research shorts. These research shorts are available in the form of much accepted story format and the summary or the key findings of the paper are placed within these story format. The user can read and figure out if they need to read the entire paper. They can click on view paper and actually read the entire paper. Our discovery actually makes research more accessible via innovative 
AI features. Another thing researchers can do is upload any full text paper and have it translated into their preferred language. They can decide whether they want only the summary or the full paper content. They can choose the language of their choice. And voila, it would create the audio, the text for the summary, the full text uh, for the complete full text paper. This feature is specially beneficial for non-English speakers who may struggle to keep up with English publications. Our discovery provides one of its kind solution by translating the complete full text into their preferred language, thereby enabling them to access their research, to accelerate their research process efficiently. You can see there is a complete full paper audio which is available section wise in Japanese that I chose. There is summary that is available and there is translated text. If the user only wants to read, they can scroll through it and read the entire paper in Japanese. Along with this, they can listen to this. <laughs> Researchers have plenty of options or uh, customizations available on our discovery app. For example, to change uh, the speed of the audio or to even change the font size on the app for reading articles. So with our discovery, researchers can access everything related to research reading in one place streamlining their work and saving time and effort like never before.